Let's begin with a word of prayer and we'll move right along into today's lesson. We thank you, Lord, for this time we have to learn and grow. We seek to do the best we can and add to what we know. We love you, God, with all our hearts and to others' love we show. Pleasing you is our goal, not to our lesson we should go. In Jesus' name, amen. All right. Hi, everybody. Hi, boys and girls. This is Heroes Model School Academy. Thank you for joining me today. Oh, um, we're going to be going through grade three mathematics. My name is Mr. Land, and we are going to be doing week five, day four. Week five of day four. And, um, and that's going to be found on page number 41 of your grade three mathematics workbook. So if you've gotten a chance, please go ahead and download it over there. You're going to see the button, the download button over there from the HHA sign up, sign up or your login, login profile. All right. So we're going to be working on uh, week number five, day four, and we are going to be talking about highest common factors, HCFs. Okay. Highest common factors. So yesterday we talked about the concept of factors and a factor is going to be a number that can divide another number without, without leaving any remainder. That's what a factor is. So if you want to find a factor of 12, a factor of 12 is going to be another number like four, like three, like two, like one and all of that. But then if you have multiple numbers, say they give you two numbers, number 12, for example, and then number 18. So what are the factors? So you say, what are the factors of, of number 12, for example? So let's draw a line here, factors. So you're asking yourself, uh, you're asking yourself the question, what numbers will divide 12 evenly? You know, we talked about the concept of division over there yesterday. If you didn't get a chance to watch to watch yesterday's video, please quickly make sure you do that. So we broke down the concept of div division to the very <laughs> job and title of it, if I had to use that word. So you know one is gonna be a factor of 12 because one is gonna divide 12 evenly. If you say 12 divided by one, you're gonna get 12, right? Yes, yes you can, I know, you know that. And you can use the multiplication table just like I talked about yesterday as well to find your factors. All right, what about the number two? Number two is another factor of number 12, right? Because if you say 12 divided by two, you're gonna get six. And six is an even number. All right, six, what you get that, that operation is an even operation for you. There is no remainder. What about another number like three? Three is another factor of 12, because when you say 12 divided by three, you're gonna get four. There is no remainder. What about the number four? Well, four is another factor. What about the number six? Six is another factor. What about the number 12 itself? itself? 12 is gonna be another factor. All right, now let's look at number 18. Number one is gonna be definitely a factor of number 18 because 18 divided by one is gonna be 18. Then what about the number two? Well, two is another factor. What about the number three? Three is another factor because once you say 18 divided by two, you're gonna get nine. 18 divided by three, you're gonna get six. What about the number four? Mm, nah, you can't see that. 18 divided by four is not gonna give you an even division. So four is not a factor. What about the number six? Yes, I believe six. Six is gonna be another factor of number 18. So if you say 18 divided by six, you're gonna get three. What about the number 12? Mm, nah, 12, 12 is not gonna divide 18 evenly. But what about the number 18 itself? Yes, 18 is gonna divide number 18 evenly. So if you look at all these factors here for numbers 12 and 18, you're gonna ask yourself, which one is a common factor and which one is the highest common factor? Well, one is a common factor. Two is a common factor, three is a common factor, six is a common factor, four is not a common factor, 12 is not a common factor, 18 is not a common factor between numbers 12 and 18. So we know one, two, three, and six. So out of those numbers, which one is the highest common factor? You're gonna see that's number six because number six is common to both operations. You're trying to find the common factor, the, 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 the factors of eight of 12 over here, factors of 18 over here, come on. And you're gonna find, well, six is gonna be the largest number over there. So that is your HCF of numbers 12 and 18. Did you get that? I believe you did. 
Well, there are going to be further instructions and further exercises on page 41 of your workbook over there. So please make, su make sure you take advantage of that. It's going to be grade three mathematics um, over there for you. So that's all I have for you today. Thank you for joining me. And please remember to recite your morality creed. And when I step away from the screen, you're welcome to take a snapshot of the worksheet on the board as well. Because if you can't download it, we want you to still get it. Uh, by the grace of God. That's what God's called us to do it here at Smart. We want to make simple, make it simple, learn it simple, and keep it godly in the process of doing that. Well, anyway, thank you for joining me today. And until next time, remember God cares about you, and so do we. Bye bye. I believe in Jesus Christ, the Messiah who died and was resurrected from the dead to save humanity from sin. He is my Lord, Master, Boss, and Savior. I love God, I love myself, and I love others with the God kind of love. I believe the Bible is inspired by the Spirit of God and is the basis for morality, rights, and wrongs. I look to the Spirit of God to understand God's intent behind every letter of the Bible. I abide by this intent, and I live to honor God in thought, in word, and in deed. I believe there is a heaven to gain and a hell to shun. Father, please give me grace and mercy to please you more. This is my morality creed, in the name of Jesus, amen. Your hero's body, and as you study with heroes born.